You want to pick some vegetables? Let's see if we can find something to pick. I don't think the tomatoes are ready. Let's go look at the squash and zucchini. Let's see if we can find some squash. You wanna put, hey, you want to put that in the bucket? There you go. See any more? I hear bees. I hear some bees. I don't think any of the other ones are ready right here, man. You want to put the pepper in the bucket? Very good. Ooh, here's a zucchini. You put the zucchini in the bucket. Put it in gently. Okay. Put the squash in the bucket. Gently. Don't throw it. Just put it in gently. Very good. I think that's. I think that's it for now, man. Here's a rotten one. Let's go put this in the compost pile. Very good.
All right, guys, so now it's time to do something that may or may not turn out well. We'll just have to see. Um, it's time to trim around the beehives, and certain times of year you can get away with this without too much trouble. I do not know if this is one of those times of year or not. We're just going to have to start up and give it a try. But just in case, I did bring my bee suit, and I will be wearing it and a set of work gloves because bees really don't usually like um, noisy, fumy trimmer like things around their hives and they could get testy about it so we're going to take a few precautions here so there's two rows of hives here and what we'll do is we'll cut around the backs of these hives or both of these rows rather first and uh, cut a couple of nice wide swaths on the backs of these hives and then we'll try to very quickly do the fronts and and get out of here before they get irritated about it and ho hopefully we'll be successful So that actually went pretty smooth. Only one hive kind of got a little bit testy about that, but not too bad. So now what we've got is swaths in front, behind, and behind over there. What we're left with is little patches of grass right in front of all of the hives. And that that is really going to tell the tale. When you start putting stuff like that right directly in front of the hive, that is when they get irritated. So I saved this for last. And now we're just going to try our best to very quickly go down through here and knock these little patches out as well it's really really dry right now so this grass was very tough and uh, that's kind of slowing my progress down unfortunately but let's uh let's do this i'll do this front row first that way if they get irritated i'll be able to work behind them instead of in front of them when i uh when i do this row so let's go ahead and do that That wasn't too bad. A few of these hives did get a little bit testy, but I mean, what do you expect? But overall, not bad at all. This one right here, just because there's a lot of bees in there, they got a little bit irritated, probably more than the rest. But you can see it's not, not that bad. I actually took my gloves off when I went to operate the drone because it just wasn't that bad and I haven't taken any stings, so. It's good, that was a success.
So guys, I want to do a little bit of maintenance on my rotary mower here. A lot of y'all remember this. This is basically the cheapest heavy duty rotary mower that you can get. It's a J-Bar brand and I did a video on it a while back. And for the most part, I've been pretty happy with it, but I want to do some maintenance on it right now before I clean out some pines behind the shop here. And there's a grease fitting right here on the wheel shaft, the shaft right here that holds the wheel on. And I uh, it is either fallen out or broken off and I can't imagine how it would have broken off So I'm hoping it just fell out. So let's see if we can figure this out and fix it So this is where it was you can see this little indention right here And I, I think that it is just full of grease because I've kind of attempted to put grease <laughs> Shove some grease right there just kind of in a pinch and if I rub the screwdriver on the top I can feel threads. So that's a really good thing so I'm pretty confident it is just broken off. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another uh, grease fitting and try to uh, try to thread a new one in. So I always keep a couple of boxes of assorted grease fittings around. And man, they can be really, really handy. We'll try the we'll try the standard ones first and hope that it is a standard. And uh, if it is not, we'll move on. No, definitely not that one. It doesn't look like it would be any of these others either, so maybe it's a mess. I don't think it's any of these either. Maybe this one. No, I don't think that's it. Let me double check the metric or the standard ones. The threads are just way small on this. It's kind of odd. I don't, I don't have a tap and die kit. If I did, I would just make a new one. Hmm, let's try it. Nope, I just don't have it. That'll have to be another project for another day. I want to tighten up these pins as well. At least one of them has gotten a little bit loose. I don't know if it was both, but I'm just going to go ahead and do both of them just for good measure. And this one does seem a little loose, so it's good that we're doing this. It does have a lock washer on it. Probably needs some thread locker too. There we go. I think that one was okay. I'll double check. That one's still solid. I want to show you all a great mystery here. I don't know that you can see it from right here. Well, maybe you can, but you can see the mower is kind of sitting a little bit sideways. It's not quite all the way down, but you can still see that it's sitting a little bit sideways. And when I first started mowing with it, I leveled it out with the adjustment arm on the three point hitch. And somehow it has gotten off or out of adjustment. And I don't understand how that works. Let me crank the tractor and move it up and down so y'all can actually see what I'm talking about. So you can kind of see that this side right here comes up way, way sooner than that side. So what happens when you're mowing is that side ends up digging in the dirt. And when I started, I adjusted it level and I don't know how it got out of level. That's kind of weird to me. And I feel like it's got to be a function of the three point hitch on the tractor and not the mower. I don't really know. I used the lock washer or the lock nut on the adjustment arm, but it just seems to get out of adjustment. I did do it outside. I could have been on uneven ground. I don't know, but let's readjust it and hope it stays.
If y'all can see that, when this is locked down, when that nut right there is locked down, it just can't go anywhere either way. So I don't, I'm not sure why it's getting out of adjustment like that. Hey, come tell, come tell YouTube to give us a thumbs up. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Come get greasy. Can you say thumbs up? Thumbs up. <laughs> there you go. Um, and thank you all so much for 250,000 subscribers. The channel, the channel hit 250,000. That's 250, a deer, Dad. That is a deer. You're right. The channel hit, I think, 250,000 maybe yesterday. And I cannot tell you That's how much. That's Daddy's tractor. That is Daddy's tractor. You're right. And I cannot tell you how much uh, we all appreciate it here. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. And I will see you all on the next one.